Those two trees right there, I'm going to put my hammock up in that V and on the other tree and do a setup for practice. Well, that was really quick and easy. So now I'm going to set up my ridge line and get my tarp set up to get a good configuration, kind of play around with it. And check out how fast and easy that thing is to set up. I'm loving it. Now let's get the tarp up. All right, guys. I've got my ridge line set up. See the two strings right here? And the one right on up there. Right. Here. So what I did is I just hooked it to a carabiner, ran it over here to the other tree, and put it on a nine-point carabiner. I don't know if y'all are familiar. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but I picked that at Harbor Freight today. It makes knot tying a lot easier because all you gotta do is wrap it around it and hook it and you're done. Then I had enough cordage left over that I just took it on down here and tied my little, uh, I forgot the name of that knot, but then I run it over here and tied a truck. I tied a trucker's knot on the other end, which is really neat because you can keep your stuff tight, pull it tight and keep it tight. Love those. So now I'm going to create some Pulusky knots and put up here on the ridge line and then I'll be able to put carabiners and hang tarp. Okay, all a Pulusky knot is is a little loop here and you just take and keep wrapping it around here like this. You got to keep all of your line. You need to wrap that around there four times, four or five times and keep, you know, you, you got to go back and make sure the lines are straight. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, now there's the Pulusky knot. You got your carabiner on the end. Now the reason is because it won't, you can pull it and it won't pull tight. Now I gotta, now I just gotta put the tarp on the carabiner. But the thing is, you can grab this knot and you can slide it back and forth and adjust your tarp. So this time I got a bigger tarp. Now let's put it together and see how it works out. All right, there's the tarp up with the Pulusky knot that you can slide and make tighter. Of course, I've got it tied all the way down through there. You want your ridge line on top. Okay, the reason you want your ridge line on top is so it doesn't seep down through in here and get you wet if it rains. So it's a pretty easy setup. I'm just kind of playing around with this out here. I've kind of got it offset because of the way the tarp is shaped. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it works this way. Now, of course, if you didn't feel like messing with it, <laughs> You could always just leave it hanging there and sleep like this. I mean, you're going to stay dry. Unless you had big high winds that blew the tarp up over your, over your uh, hammock. Then you're screwed. You know, I was about to get out and I just realized it's amazing how much warmer it is in here without the wind hitting you. I mean, the tarp blocking out the wind, it's, it's awesome. Okay, I'm going to use a stake, a carabiner, and another Pulaski knot to pull it tight. Man, this is turning out better than I expected. I'll show you in just a few minutes when I finish setting it up. Okay, guys, check that out. If wind blows in from this direction, I'm covered. Check that out. And the same thing on the other side. But now if the wind's blowing in this way, I'd want to take this corner and move it over here to close it up. And of course I used the Plusky knot again so that I could pull that tight to keep the wind out. Pretty awesome, huh? Now look here, I've got a ridge line going inside the hammock to hang up my shoes, backpack, get everything up off the ground. Out of the rain. And notice how my strap is hanging here. And that is so that water will run off off of here and come down here and keep me dry. Hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial today. Maybe we'll get to sleep in it soon. So I guess this is what it looks like if you have it all closed up. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. A big old yeah, buddy. Been some fun stuff. Okay, the wife's in there. Got her new Colorado cranked up, so I'm going to grab them air mattresses and put them in this hammock and see what that feels like. Woo!
Chloe, check out that truck. She done got it backed out of the garage. All right, so I love this setup. I think what I'm gonna do now is try that brown tarp, which is a little smaller, just to see how it works out. Okay, this is pretty nice setup. I like the size of that. I got this tarp off the my award points at AT&T. There's only one problem. I ordered the really lightweight tarp. Not too good. Other side's just like that. My lightweight tarp that I got at Harbor Freight has worked out better than that. It did rip a little bit like that, but not that bad. So, I guess the next time I get tarp, I guess I'll be getting a heavy duty and just carry the weight along with me. Really, my problem is I like to make my fires big to stay warm, and I usually get a hole in the tarp or something. So I really can't see spending a lot of money on a tarp when you may get an ember on it and get a hole in it and then rain gets in. Well, it looks like the Walmart tarp has won again. Even though I've got a piece of duct tape on it because there's a hole up there. It has been the most durable tarp. And I've learned a lesson too. I always buy the heavy duty tarps for this kind of stuff. So after all my testing today and all the tent setups, I figure I need a heavy duty 12 by 16 tarp. Works out great. So I hope everybody enjoyed my tarp hammock setup today, my trial test and run. I'm gonna put this thing up and I am going to get all this cold weather. I'm getting cold, it's chilly outside. We'll get some wood and make a fire in the fireplace.